Hi, my name is Jake Summer from Mold, Missouri, and you're watching Talk of Josh Frogs. morning I think I haven't quite woken up yet there's dogs out here that looks like a Chevy hey good morning Chevy good morning yeah, good morning it's morning right she got her I find myself a bike and what you doing with that that's mine that's mine you can have it Like we need to put it in the garbage bag in there. What's there? Diesel. Hey, buddy. Guess what? Guess what? This might be, might be the last day that I have to go to the truck without you. <gasps> We're hoping to hear good news today about the truck. We'll, we'll see. Fingers crossed, but it might be next week. I've got a roll tight behind me. Got it all ready to go now, and uh, headed up to Toulon and then Arburg, and that'll be the date. We better get going. We don't want to be late. We're cruising. This is Highway 59 northbound. We're about to turn on to uh, Highway 100 or the perimeter highway eastbound. Southeast corner of Winnipeg. Might be my last time going to Toulon and Arburg. Well, I'll probably go there in my own truck as well, but it definitely wouldn't be on my regular routes. I'm gonna miss these shippers. Good guys to work with. Hopefully these geese are staying off the road up here. They know if they honk at me, I honk back. I'm that kind of guy. This spring hasn't been as bad. Last spring they were nesting like right around the uh, on-ramp there and they'd always like wander out into the road. And Canadian geese are pretty hardcore. Uh, they will not move for you. No, you move for them. So it's a stalemate usually, because I won't give in to them and they won't give in to me. So we sit there staring at each other, giving each other death glares, challenging each other. One of these days there'll be an epic duel or there'll be an epic battle. They'll probably cheat and call in all their buddies on me and I'll have to take on like 20 of them, but I can do it. I'll, I'll take on 20 geese. I'm not afraid of no goose. Apparently they're not afraid of me either, so. It would be great to catch that on the vlog one day when it happens, because it's inevitable. It's coming. There will be a battle of Trucker Josh and the geese. We just don't know when. Always battling for territory. Don't ever get out of the truck that way. I was just demonstrating how not to get out of a truck. Definitely not how I get out of the truck all the time. You should always go out backwards, right? What do I know? Trailer's open ready to get loaded I loaded the first piece right on the back which is abnormal we don't usually do that but uh, here we are living the dream first piece uh, got loaded back there the rest of it's gonna be loaded right up to the front here well, I gotta put those straps away uh, I pulled them out of the box but I think they're gonna be in the way there so I'm gonna put them back down and we'll wait for them to come and load us up we're on our way back and I've got some news uh, we're all going to have to say goodbye to this truck very soon. I'm moving into regional division after today. My truck isn't ready yet though, because <laughs> we uh, they wanted some more paperwork. So we're trying to get that paperwork to them today yet so that we can get everything moving along. And hopefully they don't come back and need another piece of paper. 
I don't buy trucks every day, so this process seems to be very complicated to me and a little bit frustrating, but uh, I guess it's not supposed to be easy because you're not supposed to be able to just run out and buy a new truck every day. It's supposed to be a little difficult, okay? We're trying to stay positive. But the truck's not ready, but I'm moving into regional division. They need me to take a load to Saskatoon, uh, leaving Sunday back Monday night. So what do I do? I don't have a truck. Uh, this truck doesn't have a sleeper on it. We are moving from this truck into a highway truck for this first trip. We're gonna be in their truck for this trip. When I get back, hopefully all is well. And uh, I'll be back Monday night. I have Tuesday off work so I can get the decals and stickers and plates onto my truck and get the transponder, all that satellite, e-log stuff all in there Tuesday, let's hope. Or Wednesday, or whatever, whatever it takes. And then Wednesday, I want to have the truck, uh, my truck, deckled, plated, and working. But we're going to have to say goodbye to old Pete today. Or at least maybe tomorrow. I might, uh, I'm probably going to take her uh, and clean her up a bit tomorrow yet so that I can uh, bring her back and park her in her spot nice and clean and uh, ready for the next driver. I think that's probably what I'll do. We'll take an extra day to say our goodbyes, get the inside all cleaned out, wiped down, get the outside all washed, polished. I know it'll be dirty right away again, but at least the next driver who gets into it will get into a clean truck. And uh, Sunday, probably uh, Sunday morning, yeah, Sunday morning we're going to jump into unit 130. take our first regional trip in that truck I think 130 is a Volvo I don't know for sure but it's okay it's okay we will do a trip in a Volvo we got the Kenworth waiting for us when we get back right at least we hope so we hope she'll be waiting there for us when we get back I'm still kind of hoping to have the Kenworth in the shop this weekend yet but uh, now that they needed an extra piece of paperwork that we didn't know they needed until today it's it, it might take a little bit of extra time now because I got to get back to work we got to go to the office got to get the piece of paperwork it's part of my driver contract they want to see it they want to see a part of it uh, having to do with insurance and deductibles I'll send that into them uh, hopefully they can release the funds immediately today yet yeah. immediately but when does that ever happen right we're living in reality probably what's gonna happen is the funds will be released next week hopefully Monday Tuesday at the very latest Tuesday morning so that I can get the truck deckled and in my possession Tuesday then at the latest. I don't know what's going on I don't know what's going on but uh, I know we're going to Saskatoon Saskatoon We might be saying goodbye to this Peterbilt today instead. Uh, this is my truck right now until my truck is ready and licensed. I just signed the contract. So I'm officially on regional fleet now. And until my truck is registered, this is my unit. Unit 130 of <laughs> Volvo. Because God has a sense of humor. That's a nice one, hey? It's a new one. Okay. It's a dark hole unit. And I'll just be in it temporarily. Hopefully just until next Wednesday. I'll be going to Saskatoon in this truck. And uh, hopefully by the time I get back, the finances will have gone through. All the funds will have gone through. And uh, my truck will be here and ready. Hopefully we won't have to wait for decals for the side of my truck. Uh, that might slow things down as well because apparently those uh, might take a little longer than we expected to get here. But until then, oh, there's stuff in here. Somebody's pillows and Okay, well until then, this is gonna be my, uh, my truck. Let's see if she starts up. It's only gonna be a little while, Volvo. Don't get too comfortable with me back here. Okay. Okay, so there's a kill switch somewhere. 
Dang it, Volvo. You and all your fancy name. It's just for a few days, and then I get my Kenworth. Very funny. Very funny. Oh, he bought a Kenworth. I'm going to put him in a Volvo. <laughs> they needed help getting this load to Saskatoon. Uh, so they had to bump me into regional now. So I'm on my pay my pay package that uh, that I was going to have with my truck. Uh, except I'll be in this truck for now. I don't know how it's all working out. I don't know. It just happened. My head's spinning. Where's the battery? Anyone know where the battery power is on these things? The batteries won't be dead. There's a kill switch somewhere. Huh. Sometimes they're back here. I don't see it. Oh, you know what? I know where it is. I bet you I know where it is. It's under here. Okay, it's gonna be here. Okay, let's take this down. It'll be under here. Haha, -ha, there you are. I have only ugh, I've had a Volvo before. So I know all of their quirks. Unfortunately. And this is one of them, getting these things to stay back up after you take them down. We're locked in there. All right. Do you think it knows that I was bad-mouthing Volvo the other day? Oh, the radio works, okay. Oh, oh, it knows, it knows, it's angry already. Is your engine light on yet? Sup Surprise! Look at that! No engine light. You're a good Volvo. You're a good Volvo. I'm just... I shouldn't be so hard on Volvo. I shouldn't be. I'm just being funny. Volvos are good trucks, okay? And they don't always have engine lights on. I'm just making jokes. I gotta clarify that because I got some, some Volvo owners after me now. Okay, don't come after me. I'm just trying to be funny. Just because you don't think I'm funny doesn't mean I'm not funny. So just for the record, this is a very nice truck. It will serve us well until Kenny is out of the truck. And I'm not gonna call my truck Kenny, okay? I'm gonna come up with a better name than that. Let's get the air conditioning going in here. Come on, show me what you got. Oh, this one's already broken. Who broke this? Really? Look at this. Somebody pushed this thing in. How does that happen? It's not even open. How do you open it? Oh. Oh, there we go. All right, well, it is what it is, right? Okay, cool. We're gonna be friends for a few days. Well, old girl, it's been a fun ride. Someone else will get to enjoy you now. Parked her in her spot here. Grab my vacuum. It's the last thing of mine in here. It's been nice. Have a good life. Still don't miss her. Nope. Not even a little bit. Actually, I'm feeling better and better the further away I get from her. Move a little faster. Run, hope she doesn't follow. I'm definitely very excited to get back on the highway though. Even though it won't be like long distance, like long haul. No Georgia runs and stuff like that, at least not all the time. The odd one here and there, I wouldn't say no to, but. Uh, the open highway beckons. She's been beckoning, beckoning since the, the day I started city driving, but. I did city driving for a reason. I wanted to be close to home through COVID and also for the IVF that I was going through with my, well, my wife is going through. So for those two reasons, I wanted to be home every day and I always knew one day I would return in some way, shape or form. Talked about it with Britt. Talked about doing regional, buying a truck. We agreed it was right time to move forward with that and here we go it's not in my truck yet but I'm at least beginning my position on regional now
before we take this thing anywhere, it needs DEF. Yuck. Disgusting. It's coming so close, so close. Like I've been saying, I don't buy a truck every day, so this whole journey uh, with the financer is has been frustrating and uh, revealing. Uh, I've learned a lot, I guess. It's, it's different every time, and this time's just been a little bit. Uh, they've needed a little bit extra assurances here and there. Everything's been approved. It's all good to go. Got all the green lights I can possibly get. The seller has the truck ready for me to pick up. It's there, it's just sitting there waiting for me. But I can't take possession until he gets his money for it, obviously. And, uh, <laughs> excuse me, the bank, it's approved me. They said, yep, we're gonna give him the money for it. I wish I had all of the money in my account just to pay it out in cash. I paid quite a bit for this truck. The market is a little bit crazy right now. Uh, but there's a lot of extra stuff that got worked into the deal that made it worthwhile. So I got my value out of it. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna pay it off as quickly as possible. Let's try to get it paid off and oh, ambitiously, let's say by the end of this year. Uh, realistically, let's say by the end of next year. <laughs> Somewhere in between there would be great. I'm gonna pay it off as quickly as possible and then it'll be mine. So we're gonna start with little things with this truck. Uh, there's a new visor coming. I'll tell you about it when it gets here and where it came from. Uh, you know, bumpers, uh, I'm not too sure if I'll start with that. We'll start with little things like window trim, little chrome trim here and there on the truck. The cheap things that we can start off with, right? For the first year or so. We'll pay the truck off and then, uh, we'll start with the big things, you know, like the frame extension, the paint job, you know, the air ride front suspension is one of the first things I want to do. But, uh, I'm going to focus first on just getting rid of that debt. Just getting a, I hate debt. I hate debt. But it's a necessary evil in our society, right? We're a debt-based society. That's the way our, that's the way we function here. And uh, I'm not against it. As long as it's reasonable, under control, and managed, it's okay. You just have to, you have to be aware of uh, the dangers of it, right? Like, I'm not saying I'm any kind of financial expert, but uh, I know how money works. And I've paid off many loans already. Many loans. You take a loan and you pay it off. Always try to pay it off faster than than the actual term limit, right? Pay it off as soon as you can. But we live in a capitalist society, and I like that. I am a capitalist. So what you need is you need capital to start a business. You need money to make money. So we live in this amazing time period in history where you can borrow the money you need from people who have it and use that to start making money with it yourself and then pay it back. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that as long as it's uh, within reason and manageable. So we'll pay it off as quickly as possible and then we'll start the big things. The frame extension. And then when we build our house, I want to build a shop on our land there as well, which is probably going to be bigger than this one. I'm thinking it might have to be, because if I stretch the frame as long as I want it to be, I'm going to need a bigger or longer shop to fit my truck in and open the hood. But, uh, we'll see. You know me. I'm a dreamer, but I don't like leaving my dreams in dreamland. I don't think they belong there. They're boring over there. They're way out of reach or something over there. You, I like to find ways of reaching into that world of dreamland and grabbing it and pulling it into here, into reality, and finding a way to make it happen. We only live once, okay? I'm 34 years old. I'm still young. I've got a lot of career ahead of me yet, but I'm old enough to uh, start moving on with these big dreams of mine. Now's the time. You only live once shoot for the stars right or what do they say shoot for the moon if you miss you land among the stars i don't want to regret never trying i'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna give it my best shot i'm gonna head home now and uh i hear brit has got uh ribs in the oven my mouth watered just uh saying it it's gonna be good <laughs> Yeah, you're excited. Uh, Why are you so excited, Chevy? What are you so excited about? <gasps> a walk? You want to put that on the Wii Zoo? 
my goodness. Do you want it? You put it on, Diesel. You put it on. You put it on. Hang rough. Walking the right way today. Following the rules. Confuses them less. Yeah. Or maybe it confuses them that we're actually following the rules. Oh, no. Confuses the dogs less or the the police? What? What about the We're going, well, last time, yesterday, the other day, we were going the wrong way on the track. Because we're rebels. This way we're going the right way just to confuse everybody. This is about as badass as we get. Yep. This is 30. Well, we're over 30. 34. This is your 30s. Oh, this is exciting Friday. Very exciting. Very. Diesel, you're going to trip up your mom. You go that way. It's not hard to do. Oh, uh, we have some good news. The funding finally got released for the truck. Yay! It was confirmed just before we went on our walk. So it doesn't mean that the money is in the seller's account right now. I wish it did. But just like paying your bills online, it's probably going to take one or two or three business days for this transfer to happen. And it's the weekend. Of course it is. Banks don't work on the weekend. What kind of people do you think they are? So, uh, we're hoping right now we have a, what do you call it, a tentative date? A sort of, uh, if the funds are released, I'll, I'll get to pick up the truck next week, uh, sometime next week. I won't tell you when though, because uh, I want it to be a surprise. I'm trying to keep as much of this a surprise as I can. But hopefully early next week. And then we still got to, uh, we're still waiting on our plates and our decals. So another driver who just got his truck registered had to wait up to two weeks for his decals. We're hoping that they're a little more caught up than that because we just ordered them yesterday. <laughs> Looks like we got a rainstorm coming in. It's gonna be a mosquito a year. Oh yeah. Lots of mosquitoes. Yep. So you'll see me in a beekeeper suit all year. Chevy, Chevy, oh you can't go gosh, around buddy, us. Oh my gosh, you're gonna hurt somebody. You get spazzy. Spazzy Chevy. We had a little bit of a late night surprise. And uh, well, I'm back here at the shop. The finances got released at 9.30 p.m. So at 10 o'clock this evening, took delivery of the Kenworth. It's here in the shop, guys. So at 10 o'clock last night, late at night, in the dark of the night, I took possession of Old Blue. Kenworth is in the shop, looking good. Looks really good in here, doesn't it? So I'm excited to show you this truck, give you a tour of it in tomorrow's video. But I wanted to let you know that late tonight, we uh, took delivery and I actually held myself together pretty good. I was just excited to go pick it up. I was very excited. Uh, the previous owner, the seller was understandably, uh, you know, kind of, kind of sad to see her go. And I, I totally understand that. I would be, I'd be heartbroken to see this thing drive off my driveway too. So I feel for him, but I can't, I can't mask my excitedness. I'm very excited to uh, see what life has in store for us with this. Britt and I were uh, talking about calling her, or calling it Old Blue. Or the Blue Baron. Old Blue. We'll talk about it more tomorrow. But uh, she's here, or he's here, it's here. I don't know yet what it is, but uh, the Kenworth is here. <laughs> and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Don't miss it.